So anyway, um, focusing on your daydreams is a really wonderful way to sort of access that other state. And you may have the feeling of being able to just sort of go somewhere in your mind, go someplace else, go someplace different. And that's the part that is so important to be able to capture. Musicians that I've worked with, my background is I spent two years of working on dream research. And I had a, a research program where people came out of that program. One person uh, actually had a dream film that was optioned by Paramount. Another person had um, a book that they were doing, a book of poetry. Another lady had a CD of dream songs. And the whole idea is to be able to tap in to that wonderful creativity. Like my friend Tony Bosanz used to say, you want to be magnificently human. You want to be the everyday genius. Well, your daydreams and your dreams can help you to do that. And there's so many ways that dreams can help you. Uh, it can be healing dreams. It can be problem-solving dreams. Um, I worked for a while with Microsoft. and. We were doing dreaming for new programs and also problem solving. So all that is within us and I think it's so important to be able to bring that out and to be able to use that in everyday life. If you think sort of that you're doing something on a fairly superficial level, well the dream worlds and the dreaming and the daydreams will bring that much deeper. And you'll find hidden talents and hidden abilities starting to come up. Could be a whole new way of painting, like with William Blake. It could be like my client at Microsoft that developed a very important app that worked well. It could be myself with learning how to walk again because the doctors told me I'd be in a wheelchair, and this was just recently. So I was doing dreaming, healing dreaming at night. The important thing is to have the intent to realize your dreams, to focus on them, and there's a paper back there that talks more about that. But the whole idea is to be aware of your dream worlds inside, and to be aware of your daydreams. Now, going back to the person that's daydreaming, and then all of a sudden the teacher says, uh, 8 plus 1 is whatever. That brings you back into the left side of your brain, and that brings you back into much more of a state of alertness. Then you go back into the dreaming, and it's said between 60, well, daydreams are around, can go from 30 seconds to 60 seconds, so they're pretty short. One musician I worked with, he always had a piece of paper, he's in this, oh, a quote from him. He always had a little notepad, and throughout the day he just sort of check in with his daydreaming powers and abilities and write something down. And it may not be important at the time, but if you keep a record of it, sometimes you can find whole ideas and inspiration and ways of looking things in another way, because we all get stuck in ruts at times. So I think the importance of being able to do the dreams at night and also the dreams in the daytime. The dreams in the daytime, the daydreams are very short, but they're also really easy to be able to jot something down with. Now, I am just completing a book of 47 dream poems using the Persian method where you think about something in your mind and then you go to sleep and then at, for me at 2 o'clock in the morning I wake up and there's a dream there. And then I write, I write the whole thing down in the dark. So as soon as I write it, as soon as I turn the light on, poof, it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> so one way to do is, if it goes, it's sort of like reeling in a, a line of fish. You can take the first word that you can remember and pull it out, right? So you can uh, often reconstitute the dream just by doing that. Um, some of my dreams are really strong and powerful, and I wanted to read one that had a lot to do with <laughs> a strong dream. I had one called the Past Torch Terrorist, and then there's one called Egyptian Football Girl. And Laura published that in her magazine, 
and it was found in Egypt by the actual lady that was in the trials and was not in the team. It was translated into Arabic. Wow. So this is for you, Lord, to read oh, it before. <laughs>